Evan, the big news we have to get into is Isaac Okoro entering the NBA's health and safety protocols. He is one of many, many players across the league today that is entering 31. health and safety protocols. Yes, there's a lot. Players are in health and safety protocols. Great googly moogly. There's a lot. This is an ongoing issue across the sports. We'll talk about some of the COVID things, I think, later on. But with Okoro coming off per the best four games of the season, perhaps the best four game stretch of his entire NBA career. We don't know, obviously, I think how long he's going to be out. That's it's very unfair to speculate on that stuff. I think we don't know a ton of information as of right now. Uh, the Cavs have obviously had two players be in COVID protocols earlier season. Larry Markin and Kevin Love both missed. They both, I think Markin was eight and Love was seven games like that. Um, yeah, so it was a decent chunk. It, it, this could, I mean, this could be something where Okora misses, you know, it, it would seem highly unlikely just on the surface that he would play this weekend. We'll see when he comes back, but like the timing He's of not this, gonna I have think a for LeBron f- level turnaround, I don't think. Well, I mean, like theoretically, could have like a negative test or whatever. Like, whatever. Like, there, we would guess that we would not see him this weekend. Probably not see him for part of next weekend. For him at this time, when he has played really well, is looking comfortable, and the team is playing really well, and he's obviously been a big part of that success. It's just like a bummer, but it's also just like the reality of of kind of the world we're living in. Like, this was bound to happen again at some point. Unfortunately, it feels like. Yeah, it does, especially with Omicron just kind of moving in silence like like a like a g in lasagna but um it, it's certainly tough it makes me think a lot about the larry marketing situation for sure when larry went down with COVID, or when he entered health and safety protocols and he was out for an extended period because larry needed that time to get familiar and comfortable with his teammates i think jared allen just said maybe two or three games ago that he's finally starting to feel comfortable sharing the floor with him which just kind of speaks volumes to how valuable that lost time was for him and the rest of his teammates to just kind of get acclimated with one another because for the foreseeable future, Larry Markin is a part of the plans going forward. And ditto for Okoro because there was going to be an adjustment from life after Colin Sexton when he put Okoro in the starting lineup, especially offensively. There's a huge dip. Okoro is starting to produce really well because he's looking better after that hamstring injury. So this is just a huge bummer. This is a huge momentum killer. And I have a lot of questions, um, a lot of concerns, especially with this weekend coming up. I know Milwaukee is kind of really hit over the head with health and safety protocol stuff too, but this is really unfortunate timing, especially for a Cavs team that's won five in a row and had a ton of good momentum going towards Milwaukee and then Atlanta as well on Sunday. But on an individual level, like I, I feel awful for Isaac. I hope he bounces back soon. Hopefully this doesn't impact his conditioning. Hopefully he doesn't have long-term lasting effects out of like a Miles Garrett or other athletes who have still struggled to breathe at times on the floor. Like Kevin Love said the biggest adjustment for him wasn't the physical aspect. It was rebuilding his lung capacity so that he wasn't gasping for air when playing extended bursts on the floor at times. Um, I'm sure he'll bounce back. I'm sure he'll be fine, but it's definitely tough. And like you said, it kind of feels inevitable that the Cavs are going to get hit by this again. Um, it's just unfortunate that it happened right now.